Now when using dry herbs, the older traditional method is to chop or grind your uh, dried herbs, place them in a jar that has a tight fit lid, get them in there. Now you can grind these up further or mash them, and then just add some oil. And you'll want to cover this by two, two or three inches. Yes, just shake it up and then you would set it in a sunny window for two or three weeks or up to four to six weeks. Now when you do this you want to label your jar with the name of the herbs, the oil and the date so you'll know when you can strain it. Now this mixture is shaking two times a day then you strain it, you stir in your vitamin E and you can either store it in that jar or it's preferred that you put it in a dark colored bottle. And then you're going to label this with the name of the herbs, the oil used, and the date. Okay, now there are several methods to do if you're using dry herbs. Uh, you can cook it in a double boiler just like we did the fresh herbs, except you're going to uh, add one to two inches of oil, and, and maybe even a little bit more if, if the herbs are absorbing more of the oil. Now the newest method is using a ratio of herbs to oil and with a rehydration process using alcohol. Now the standard rate for this ratio is one to seven, which means you're going to use, uh, uh, you're going to use like, you're going to weigh an ounce of the herb and then you're going to use a liquid measurement of seven ounces of oil. Now, some herbs such as arnica, yara, pine needles, when you grind them up in a blender, they become very fluffy. And so the ratio would be one to nine. So if the herbs do not move freely in the oil, then you would know that you needed this additional oil. Now, most healing herbal infused oils use olive oil. But of course, you can use whatever you prefer. Now, your supplies you're going to need, you're going to need a uh, a coffee grinder, food grinder, or a blender. You're going to need a bow um, with a tight fitting lid or else a jar with a tight fitting lid. Of course you need your slow, co slow cooker or your yo yogurt maker with small jars. You're going to need steering spoons. You're going to need scales. You're, of course you're going to need the liquid measuring cup. And then you're going to need your storage jar to store the oil in when you get through. I prefer a dark colored bottle. And you're going to need various funnels. You're going to need some way to make a label. I prefer the painter's tape with the black marker. And of course you need paper towels. Okay, now let's get our uh, ingredients together. Okay, I have one ounce of dry herb by weight. I have poured up seven ounces of uh, Olive oil, this is a liquid measure, seven ounces. And I also have my Everclear or other 100 proof uh, vodka. Now the first thing we're going to do is take these herbs and we're going to grind them down till they're much smaller. Now we don't want to powder them, we're just making them smaller. The, the smaller your herbs, the better the uh, properties are going to be extracted because the more that is exposed. Okay, now I have my herbs grounded into smaller pieces and I'm going to take my Everclear and I want to add one tablespoon to it. Then I'm just going to kind of mix it up with my hands until it's moist. I don't want it wet or dripping wet, I just want it moist. Now I may have to, I've got some mold in here that is pretty fluffy, so I may have to add a little more. But it is it, filled with moist. I don't think I need to add any more to it. Now since I do not have a tight fitting lid for this bow, 
I'm going to put it back into this jar. And we'll put this lid back on it, and I'm going to let this set overnight to help extract the properties of the herb. Okay, now, now this is set overnight. Now I'm ready to, to pour it into my uh, slow cooker. Now if you have a slow cooker that you can set the temperature to 100 degrees, that would be great. But I do not, so I want to put this on warm. But I do want to check it occasionally and make sure on this warm temperature that it is at least getting to 100 degrees. Now I'm going to add, add my oil. And I can tell by looking, I will need to add just a little bit more because this is one of those fluffier herbs and it needs a little bit more than what the uh, 1 to 7 ratio It's probably going to need the 1 to 9 ratio. So I'm going to add just, just uh, another, another 2 ounces of oil to it. I want it to be really loose in there. Now it's really just a matter of me just leaving it alone and it is uh, well, overnight and letting it will extract the herbs and it'll be ready to go. Okay, my herb, I've let, I've let my herbs cook overnight and now I have strained it into this re reusable coffee filter. And now I'm ready to go ahead and add a teaspoon of uh, vitamin E to this. And now I will pour it into a dark colored bottle. I've got a funnel. I've marked it with the name of the herb, the fact I used olive oil, and today's date. Okay, now I'm going to let this completely cool before I put a lid on it because I want to make sure is completely cool and does not create any condensation, create moisture that would contaminate the oil. Now, herbalist, if you're ready to try this, and in our next video, we'll show how to take this oil and make a uh, salve out of it. Okay, thank you.